All right, so it's been a couple days for me, for y'all. Well, I guess until the next video comes out. All right, but uh, I got most of the beef and crap off of it. Still here and there, but no big deal. Now, this thing proved to be a total pain. That wouldn't do it when I couldn't get my hands on a three jaw pilot bearing puller within a time frame longer to get this done. So, what I ended up having to do is just had to take the, the old Dremel there and cut through the shell and then they relieve the pressure. Now, we do got a little mark inside there, but it's not going to hurt. It's not a sealing surface, it's just a bearing. <clears throat> so, that being said, we now can put our new bearing in and completely reassemble it. I have went ahead and put most of the bearings in it, well, probably all of them in this one. And, uh, and as I go, I'll explain how they went in and all that good stuff too. So I'm gonna fire up the heat gun, I'm gonna heat this up to make that bearing drop in easier and um, I'll bring it back in because that could take a while. All right, we're um, pretty close to a good temperature here. 300, 400 degrees. And it's bearing, hopefully they're gonna drop right in place. He didn't want to do it. Ouch. And everything's been washed out, so we get a little bit of dust in there, dirt or something, we can blow it right out. Excuse me. All right. We are going to start right here. All right, another thing I've done, see, put this bearing in. But that one just taps in from this side. You just tap it down to the, the quick clip there. And this one here, you know, it drives in this side. And you put your clip back in it. And you're good to go. This piece come out. I got all that washed out. Cleaned up. New O-rings on the on the shaft right here and on the um yeah that piece there that's for the detent all right all this is clean and dry except for a drop or two of oil in that barrel We'll put pieces in, we'll give them a quick blow, and drop them through a hole, and put them in. That thing's aggravating. Right. And the planetary set here, the kit comes with a, uh, I don't know if they're phenolic or what. But these pieces here, and that bearing drives down inside there. 
Hold on. A little something, something ain't completely dry. Pretty straightforward. I mean, if you're take pictures and just set you find enough to record something like this, it's always easy to go back and look at it. But all in all, the old case not pretty clean. If you get coming new. Four guys. I should play a little roll in there, nothing special. Chef's gonna go next. Work on the I'll put you on pause and go back and look and see what I've done wrong. Alright, I figured out the problem. I believe I have this bear recessed about an eighth inch too far. So, what we're going through here, and we're going to tap it back. It moves pretty easy, and we're going to slide the shaft out just a little bit. Did we get it right? First, I need to try to get this thing on. Because I want you to come off. That's what I'm sure. 
So, all right. So the issue is that bearing is also a stop and sets it. sets the lash for that. Good. Just contact him. So. Never mind the 30 year old, 2 year old. So, right down yonder is what we're going to try to get after. The little girl is angry. No surprise there. And just for, for show, we're going to give us a a little mark there. All right, so I have technical difficulties. I put something together wrong. <clears throat> and what it was is the old pump here, it didn't go in here. It goes on the outside of this case, and the old line runs on the inside. I'll show you. But anyway, that was a mess. I have to try to clean up all the sealant that was on it. All right, so that's wiped off again. And what's gonna happen this time is I'm gonna put the wrong one. For two, it seems like the other seal likes a wet bond. What's up any kind of being a little set up? It seems like the way it is whenever it's smushed together the better your results are. Well, that's got to go like that. As we're sitting on there, or right before we got to stick that on the snout here. Send it on. <clears throat> Being a little more cautious this time because, man, I don't want to take this one back apart a third time. I have to do. Okay, hopefully, I got a flat take to do it once again. A good sign you clean, the metal's clean, is that the sealant will stick to it and not just kind of smear off.
You might have to stop. Maybe. I keep having my tools for myself. I'm getting a shirt. Okay, I feel a lot better about that. Before we felt like it barely wanted to turn. That just uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't work. Now, let's see, we got seal and lock and thread sealant. I like this one here. The only bad part about one of these is it takes like 24 hours for it to completely kill her. And if you're trying to be in a hurry, it don't work. Okay. We're going to use this around the bottom. Especially on the bottom plug. It's like my sealant is on. It's in better days. I'm sure about that. Now, the next piece to go on, 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 on the side. There's this piece of housing here. Pre white. I've already got that surface clean. So, I'm just gotta get this one. Those from these rags is everywhere. Just like the rest of it, we're going to give a thin coat. Plating around here somewhere, they'll have to be done the same way on the back side. Good news is, we're running out of pieces, so that means we're always done. I verify all these are the same length. Maybe they're all the same size. It looks like they are.
And this is just basically good measure because these bolts do go inside the case. They're out of blind hole. They're open. That bearing from the bearing is the hair more. Alright, now. Now I am skipping around because I gotta put a clip in there and Pay attention to the moment, I think, the whole time. We're just gonna give this bolt some grease because well I don't have my hand slides down here and quite frankly I don't feel like walking upstairs just to get it. <laughs> These things are heavy to be no bigger than they are. Maybe I'll just see there. Uh oh. Somebody's upset. I 
I realized I got the wrong tool for this job, so don't give me a hard time. This is what I got. Now for the seal, I think. Ice seal. It's gonna be one of these with these lips on too. Yeah, that's well, that was a stupid idea. And of course, that'll also keep these seals from having a dry start. This will probably last longer than the oil film. This will be the next thing. After I get it straightened out, we'll tap that back on. And put the dust boot back on. Always a good idea to, to leave up these little A-rings. Keeps them from pinching and, and uh, swirling around. Because if you twist and get knocked up, they're not going to seal. Then they can lead to a bad day. Barely, I sit there. So what we're gonna do is, is
Now, in this last piece here, I'll the last piece, but this piece here goes on one way. Kind of like a flywheel. The bolts are staggered, staggered in a way that it only allows it to go on one way. That, and you got this notch here that needs to line up with that hole. I do believe that's the last bit of seal that we're going to need. I'm just kind of being a little anal about that. Not necessarily, you'll really have to go through the trouble scenario to run threads like that, but it's how my mind wants me to do it, so. Do when you put that on is let the let the bolts jerk that thing around. So there is enough play there for it to potentially let it leak. And, and if it does leak there, you may never know it because there's actually a gasket goes in between here and the transmission. And there's a seal here, and this shaft here actually slides up inside the transmission and seals. I don't know how design you think it'd be too different. I don't know, like maybe intermediate shaft like they did on some of them. You just have kind of two separate units completely, not one dependent on the other one. For its oil retention. But anyway, that's what here, there, there. Then the next sailor needs to go here, so. And I've managed to dry all the, all the oil out of it, so. And you see it was corroding. So try to keep the corrosion down. All right, now. Now, I don't think this little bit of oxidation I have here is going to hurt anything, but just in case, we're going to get rid of it. That's good enough for me anyway. Yep. 
Interesting. Whichever one these seals is going to fit better than a lot of these because they don't seem to fit the case the same. See, this one is pretty loose on the shaft, so we're not going to use that one. We're going to use this one. It's not so loose. Now this is something I just got in the habit of doing on these things because normally I'm just replacing just a couple things in there and most of the time it's just a primary chain. <clears throat> that little star thing there, it unfortunately never fares well. If you ain't gonna take the time to stuff this thing down in here, it's probably gonna have a leak. But you gotta get in there. At this point, you can imagine I don't plan on taking this thing apart ever again. Now, Mr. Pickety Clack. Yeah. There was the easy way. And you see that fell off? You gotta make sure that um, stays in there. <laughs> She will leak. And that is everything completely back together. Well, 
I hope this ain't a... The only thing left I gotta do is that boot. And, well, I guess I can pause y'all bring you back. Hold on. All right, so... Here we are. It's not perfect, but, um... Not too bad. So, I think it's pretty much ready to go on. Bring it back and I get it on the shaft. 